Forge, who are going to be kicking off the favourites, needing a point for that CONCACAF spot, and they're still in with an outside chance of challenging for the title as well. Perfect. We are underway in Tim Horton's arena. We'll kick off with a, we'll keep an eye on those formations, as we mentioned, possible changes of back threes, back fours and systems. It's obviously may evolve during the game as well. Yeah, well, Cissé at the moment is in that midfield position that we expected. There he is on the ball now, turning away, but caught in possession. Quick counter-attack. They look to break forward now. Options left and right. It's a neat ball into the inside channel. Be cutting back onto his left foot with the first shot of the game. Call it round. And it's into the back of the net. Oh, what a start. What a goal. 30 seconds in. There is that man, Bustos. Well, Marco Bustos, we said he might be playing in a more attacking role today. Normally known as a, a midfielder or an attacking midfielder, but leading the line today with Hoyle left on the bench. And what a way to start the that game. Was some strike with the left foot. I mean, he had a couple of options to the left, but. Yeah, and Belan Goyet did so well to win the ball. He dispossessed Cissé in, initially on the halfway line, drove forward and then found the pass to Bustos. Looks like there's one thing on his mind there. He cuts in on that left foot, takes a look up, finds that far corner and then just picks that out perfectly. What a finish, absolutely. I mean, 30 seconds into the game, great confidence. Seems he can just bring this down one side or another, no one in crisp possession, but they've got to overlap. On the right-hand side with Gutierrez, looks to play it inside the fullback. Perhaps outside was the option, but they've done well to win it back. And there's another shot from the edge of the penalty area. That one flies wide. Becker's gone really far forward to try and get into, uh, get into a, a more position. influential position. So he's changed to play the ball into behind, and it's a confusion in the defence. Eventually, eventually, Vala sort themselves out. Before yeah. Deciding that Janssen's stayed within the confines of his penalty area, but... Camped in towards the goalkeeper, too, on the edge of the penalty area. See how that plays out. It's swung in towards the goal, and it's palmed away by Ennisons. Just about dealt with by the goalkeeper. Tough pass that he received from the goalkeeper, and a lot of defenders in that position would have panicked and just whacked it long, but he insisted on playing the ball out, and it got them into a much better position. But now Borges for the first time. Borges, that's... There's Nanko. He's got it through, and it's a great chance. He got around the goalkeeper, and it's off the line. Great tracking back by Aguin Arena. He really did well to stick with the play there because it was going in after we saw Borges for the first time. He combined well with Nanko and then not not uh, really a realistic goal scoring chance, but he's had one with his left foot, one with his head. He'd like to get one in his right foot next, so maybe working towards it. But here is Becker with his right foot and he's picked out a lovely pocket of space. Which was, yeah, that's a really good save from Janssen's. And off his line really quickly to close down the angle. Got a big left leg, stuck out, reached the ball, and shown here again. He's, he's gone round Janssen's and he hasn't scored. And he's faced him one on one, he's been beaten again. Let's see if we can get this to deviate a bit in the air through the wind as well. Maybe really put Janssen under some pressure. And it will be crutching with the left foot over the wall and then into the into Janssen's chest, which he takes comfortably. Now he's forward again on this left hand side, and it's again that man Schwanieres coming in just to. Pockets of space that he's seeming to open up now, and all the back heel and overlapping run. He's got three in the air to aim for, and it's gone wide. And Cissé, who doesn't often get into that kind of position, attacking the penalty area, normally a central midfielder. After his last delivery, fair to clear the first man. Here he comes with the right foot into the middle. Oh. Penalty area, it's in! They've sunk every single corner kick into that near post. He wasn't crooked in this time, it was the substitute Kosopoulos with the header. Yeah, very well finished header. Exactly the kind of delivery, as you said, that they've been looking for from pretty much all their set pieces in swinging balls, whipped to the near post. Kosopoulos is in there again. Yep. Between the goalkeeper, it is towards the near post. There's oh! the header, so did that go over the line? I'm sure it did. There's the referee's given the goal, yes. And I think it's Kosopoulos again. I'm not sure who it came off, actually. The, the way they're all celebrating... It's gone towards Becker. They're all celebrating with Becker, I think. Well, I wonder if it's an own goal that none of them got the touch because no one seems to be really claiming it. But the important thing is it is a goal. It did look like it went over the line to me. And I'm not even sure if the goalkeeper possibly carried it over the line with his momentum, even. May, may well, well be. on the replay. Let's clarify this up. It's a really dangerous corner played into the middle.